Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chris and Dan show. We've got a great, great song for you today. Uh, mm-hmm. Dan actually may like this one. He may even rate it a winner. Who knows? Iron Maiden. I've so I've like as much of a virgin of Iron Maiden as you can almost be. I can't. If you had a gun to my head, I could not name a song or anything about them. Other than this one, you're probably looking at it right now, aren't you? No, I'm not looking at it. But okay. Um. One of my favorite rap groups of all time, Jedi Mind Tricks, who we reviewed on this channel. Yep. Vinny Paz, his favorite, one of his favorite metal bands, if oh, not right. favorite, is Iron Maiden. So I've I heard remember. a lot of references to them in Jedi Mind. So that's telling me I should like this. I remember you referencing that when we watched that video, that yeah. that was his favorite uh, rock band. Yeah, so there's a chance here because I'm supposed to like it. So this, I just this, don't know. This song's like a, a historical view of uh, America being born, the, right. the country of America being born. So uh, interesting. You have to listen to the lyrics of this song. All right. Give me a second. Hold on. I don't remember. All right. So we're going to roll the the song or what? Yeah. I mean, give me his background. This is a band from the United States. There's no, songs about no. the United States. They're, they're from uh, England. Oh, okay. From the UK. Okay. Um, but the song is about the United States. It's about the. Uh, ah, it's, okay. It's more about what happened to the Indians uh, during the creation of the United States. So it's like Hamilton. It's a musical history. Eh, somewhat, somewhat. I don't know if I mean I'm sure that was the intention with the lyrics, but yeah, uh, you'll see. You know what, Hamilton's rap. I'm gonna make you watch some Hamilton stuff later. This gave me. Thank you for inspiring me. If you fill up for one more, I'm going to do one more after this one. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Just say yes. Well, do one uh, more. We'll see. Okay. All right. Let's go. Iron Maiden, Run to the Hills. Again, guys, I'm supposed to like this. I just never heard it. Let's see. Well, Jedi Mind Trick, shout out to them. <laughs> that's something you can't do in 2021 <laughs> can you imagine you can't even call the redskins the redskins anymore can you imagine right. doing this in your videos wow that's this right. must have been from the 80s yes it was wow That's bars. I can see why Vinny Paz likes these guys from Jedi Mind. You got a chance, Chris. I got to say, so- you might actually like do it here. You might actually do it. <laughs> All right. Man came across the sea. He brought his pain and misery. He killed our tribes. He killed our creeds. He took our game. said a re- murder for freedom and I think I rewind in, it back a bit and a stab in the back
is it selling them whiskey? Yeah, and taking their gold. The only good engines are tamed. So I was going to say, never felt more like clicking another song after, you know, because <laughs> I think I need to hear more while I didn't win. Um, I probably give it an eight. It's because uh, okay. it's interesting. Right. right. But it's not something I would play in my car. Um, unless they have an entire album about history. <laughs> that would be cool. They have a bunch of songs about history, but it's not the entire album. They have like a song or two on each of their albums. I want to hear more because I could tell I would probably like them. You're probably your best chance of me getting a nine is with them from what you've showed me so far. All right. But I wouldn't have said that after Triumph's first songs either. And it turned out to be true in Triumph's case, my only winner so far. Their second song. Fight the good fight. It was inspirational and the that you were song exposed flowed, to. flowed really well. Yeah. But this one's awesome. I would give it an eight just because it's uh the replayability factor is not like you know, it's not there. It's not it wouldn't be like a go-to song, like, oh, you know, this one's gonna get me going. It's just mm-hmm. interesting. You know, I understand. I understand. Well, for you know, for an Iron Maiden fan. Uh, which I assume most people who are watching this are, it does have replayability. I'm about to be one too. Soon. You know, it has a, it's, uh, has a good tempo, feels good. Yeah. You, you learn the lyrics, you sing along. Eh, it's about how it works. Right, right. So. All right. Well, glad you gave it an eight. Uh, it was a nine to start. We, we couldn't hang on. It was a nine on. to start. Couldn't hang on. Right. Couldn't hang on. It but, was an eight. But future songs, potentially. So anybody have any Iron Maiden recommendations, please put them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and we'll hopefully make you a winner. Um, we'll be sniping them comments. Just, just FYI, love sniping. FYI, don't recommend Number of the Beast. I've played it for Dan once before. He doesn't recall this long time, years ago, like five years ah, ago. Okay. He did not like it. So hey, you might like it now, but I probably wouldn't recommend that song. So anything other than that. People change, man. People change. Sure, sure. All right, so give us your best recommendations. Let's go try to win some money. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.